The 41st Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces, which is conducting an offensive in the area of the village of Staritsa, Kharkiv region, has serious problems. The unit will soon be completely zeroed out due to the bloody tactics of the generals. The Russian Z resource Northern Channel, which is connected with the Russian army, spoke frankly about this. According to the resource, commanders are forcing soldiers to go on suicidal assaults in order to capture Staritsa, which they have already declared captured. 41st Regiment, Kharkiv Direction. There is real chaos. People are simply sent to slaughter. Assault groups are sent to be meat. The regiment is being zeroed out. All this so that the generals can report on the alleged capture of Star Ritzer, although this is a lie, the resource wrote. According to him, the regiment is constantly being replenished with new soldiers who do not live long. There are no shells, no tasks, no specific plan, and the fighters are simply told to go. Those who do not return are declared missing in action or deserters, but in fact, he's dead. The Russian Northern Channel reported. He claims that real specialists are also subject to zeroing. They are transferred to stormtroopers, after which they are sent to their death. The commander of the strike battalion of the Achilles of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Yuri Fedorenko, said that the Ukrainian military managed to significantly slow down the enemy's advance in the Kupiansk direction in Kharkiv. He also reported on the key goal of the occupiers of the Russian Armed Forces in this section of the front, the Ukrainian commander said on the air of the National Telethon. According to Fedorenko, the enemy's immediate task near Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region is to take a bridgehead on the left bank of the Oskol with subsequent advancement to the village of Kupiansk, Uzlovaya, where, as is known, an important transport hub is located. In addition to the north of this village, there is also the largest sorting station Kupiansk, Sortirovoshny, as well as residential buildings around it. The enemy is using everything it has, manpower, armored vehicles, drones. At the same time, sometimes it seems that it has all of this in unlimited quantities. Since the Russian armed forces allow themselves to storm in pairs and threes and, for example, run across an open field in groups of 10 to 12 people. About 3,000 North Korean troops have been sent to Russia and they are now receiving training on drones and other equipment before being deployed to battlefields in Ukraine, South Korea's spy chief told lawmakers Monday. In a closed-door parliamentary committee briefing, National Intelligence Service Director Cho Tae-yong said another 1,500 North Korean troops have joined the 1,500 his agency estimated were in the country last week, according to lawmaker Park Sun-won, who attended the briefing. Park said that the NIS had confirmed North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month. Cho told lawmakers that his agency assessed that North Korea aims to deploy a total of 10,000 troops to Russia by December, Park told reporters. Lawmaker Lee Song Kuyin also said the agency found that Russia is hiring Korean translators and educating North Koreans on special warfare. Russia的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的一个人的
Russia's President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday held bilateral talks with South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on the sidelines of BRICS summit in the Russian city of Kazan. Putin praised trade and economic relations between the two countries, adding that both Russia and South Africa can work together on diversifying trade and investment and cooperate in other spheres such as energy, industry, agriculture, science and innovation. We continue to see Russia as a valued ally, as a valued friend, who supported us right from the beginning, from the days of our struggle against apartheid right through to now. So we are really delighted to be here, Ramaphosa said. The BRICS bloc of developing economies that initially comprised Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa has expanded rapidly to embrace Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia have formally applied to become members, and a few others have expressed an interest in joining. Observers see the BRICS summit as part of the Kremlin's efforts to showcase support from the global south amid spiraling tensions with the West and help expand economic and financial ties. Putin is set to hold about 20 bilateral meetings on the sidelines of the summit, including Tuesday's encounters with China's Xi Jinping and Egypt's Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. On Thursday, Putin is set to meet with United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who will be making his first visit to Russia in more than two years. Guterres has repeatedly criticized Russia's action in Ukraine. 